right, let's get talking. Zondervan Van gets slammed right on Hamites. Right now I'm showing you what actual so-called Caucasoids are supposed to look like. Okay, so here we see Europeans. European Caucasoids. Moving on here, we see Western Asian Caucasoids in Turkey and Afghanistan. Here we see South Asian Caucasoids, while here we see Horn of Africa or Ethiopian Caucasoids who could be either Hamitic or Semitic, depending on what language. And then we see here, North African Caucasoids. Caucasoid has to do with facial features and the structure of the face, more so than skin tone. So this Ethiopian, whose skin is brown, is still considered Caucasoid. This a uh, Moroccan who is would be described as swarthy. I know there's people who don't like that term. He clearly is darker than going all the way over here. This Northern European. So that is what one of the things that uh, Caucasoid means. Let me see if I can find some other. Images, if I cannot find them, then I will not bother. Okay, so these are not, images are not that helpful. So we will now go into Negroid. See what images I can find for that. It's actually more of a mulatto, but um, they're saying Negroid. This is a better example, minus the hair. Another example, someone with Negroid features. And then this individual Even this woman has features that could be described as Negroid. And we see here different races. A Caucasoid individual, Native American, East Asian, Negroid, actually what was referred to as Capoid, Capoid or Capoid, as in Cape of Good.